Hello YouTube, this is Reno Dan. So here I am, I'm doing slow speed maneuverings. I know it's not the greatest thing to watch, but at the same time, it has to be done. This is part of my motorcycle journey of learning to become a complete master of motorcycle riding. When I started riding in 2006 on the street, I started with a Ninja 250. That was a lightweight bike and I really didn't care much about the friction zone. And then I went to a Gixxer 750, but at that time I wasn't really that much, I was just riding, I didn't understand what I was doing. I was just going out there and just the skin of my teeth and fake it till I break it and lucky I never got messed up. I have close calls, but I never got messed up on my Gixxer 750. And then years later, I went back into a 300 and really learned how to ride properly. God bless the R3. That's a great bike. And now I'm back here. So with smaller bikes like 300s and 400s that only weigh like 300 pounds, friction zone and rear brake isn't that important because the bikes are so low torque and low lightweight and are easy just to throw into a U-turn or throw into a even circles. So I really didn't have to do much until I bought my Harley Davidson Little Rider S, and that was like a 700 pound bike, and the, my world changed. And at that point, I really started focusing on the friction zone and rear brake, and really trying to get these U turns as small as possible. The cool thing is, though, about owning a Pan America, is I can now do what they call a Texas rodeo, which is basically what the law enforcement or police do with the cones. I've been wanting to do that for a long time, but with the Lowrider S, that bike was not on the list that you can compete with. The Pan America competes against the BMW, which makes sense, so I'm really excited about that. I know I'm a long ways away watching my video here of me doing stopped U-turns, but this is the process though. It was no different than me when I started racing. When I was racing, I had to figure out how to go out and get speed, right? Because you go around a racetrack when you first do it, you're really slow, and I can throw some videos of that. But if you've been around the channel a while, you saw my progression. And in the beginning, you know, just surviving a racetrack was a big deal, and then eventually you start applying more and more fundamentals, and then you start getting faster and faster. Well, same thing with this, you know, right now I'm really slow at this, but eventually I'll start getting quicker and quicker and more confident at making slow speed maneuverings, which is one of my biggest weaknesses to this date is slow speed maneuvering. At fast speed maneuvering, I'm really good at. I wouldn't say I'm the best, but I'm definitely better than most street riders because of my racing and me being a motorcycle champion. But my slow speed maneuvering, I'm horrible at. And I'm really trying to focus and really, really, really get good at this so I can compete at a Texas Rodeo in the year's future. And then I can say that I was a motorcycle champion and maybe a Texas Rodeo champion. We'll see. I know that's kind of like uh, me shooting for the moon right now, basing me how I'm doing these U-turns. But it's something that I'm going to work hard at and be very diligent and super disciplined on trying to accomplish. And this is where I'm at right now. And the cool thing about motorcycling in general is that no matter what you're good at, whether it's braking, accelerating, cornering, low speed maneuvering, there's always an aspect of your motorcycling that you're not good at. And motorcycles are very humbling. There's not many things in life that will humble you faster than a motorcycle. Whether you give it too much throttle and almost high side yourself, not enough throttle through a corner and you almost low side yourself, there's so many ways to get messed up on a motorcycle and it makes riding motorcycles so much fun for me because it's it's a constant, constant working on myself, right? And I guess one of the things that makes it really cool too of late is that when you're riding motorcycles, there's no team to hold you up. Like if you're in a team sport and you know somebody on your team is really good and he can hold up the team. But when you're riding a motorcycle, it's just you and the bike. There's no team, it's just you, right? And your motorcycle. and that self, that inner reflection, that's what 
makes you really want to like, okay, I suck, I got to get better. Maybe the average person doesn't do this. And I know that I'm probably not average in this regard because I'll practice and practice a great deal. And I encourage everybody that watches my videos or any videos or rides motorcycles, practice. I know it's probably your, the, the hated word. Everybody just wants to get it and rip it and just go and ride around. And uh, there's so many people I met in life that I wanted to go do parking lot practices with them. And they just want to just rip and they don't want to practice. No one wants to practice. But if you don't practice on the things you're horrible at, guess what? They're going to stay horrible. And they're going to be forever something that you're either dredging a left-hand U-turn, a right-hand U-turn, a circle. You might go around the block and find a different way. But if you don't work on it, it's always going to be there. It's just not going to magically going to make itself better. And that's what I love about motorcycle riding. It's so humbling and it's so incredible on the journey of self. And I love it. Also, too, I want to give a shout out to Jerry Motorman. If you've been around this long, still watching this video, Jerry is one of the guys that inspires me to do this. He makes the videos all the time on how to do low speed maneuvering. I watch his videos. That's where a lot of my ideas come from on how to train. I would love to train with him in person, but unfortunately, he's uh, East Coast. I'm in California. I'm on the West Coast. He works out of, uh, out of Florida. Maybe one day I have many things I want to accomplish in my life. Maybe one day I'll go out there and do a training with them. But until then, I will be doing trainings like this. And I won't, won't always make videos on them. Maybe in six months or from now, I might do an update. And, and later in the year, I'll do another update. But for the most part, it's just something for me to really work on is my low-speed handling. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. Have a nice day.